Okay, so we now have a 250A bus that has stopped here and is letting off some passengers. But more importantly, we now have a car, but we actually have a bus coming down the road here. So let's have a look at how this is going to work with an articulated bus. This is a regular blue bus. Cheers, guys. Okay. And just so you know, right over here is West Van Daycare. You saw how much of the road that that bus just consumed. West Van Daycare, articulated buses barreling down this road. And, you know, these drivers need to have a break. We can't have beeline buses going along this so road. So yesterday when I uh, filmed at Owen Park School, which is uh, right beside the terminus at 24th and Marine Drive, um, I was under the wrong impression, which I think many people were, that the actual terminus uh, would not go, or the buses, sorry, would not go past Owen Park School. Where in actual fact, the wording of our mayor clearly stated that the terminus would not be in front. So there's a very good possibility or probability that they're going to still plan on turning the 169 buses around right in front of the school. Anyway, as we still go and dissect this nasty little project of a beeline apart, we're going to have a look. So we're on 24th Street and here is a crosswalk. There's two crosswalks slightly further up the road. Um, again, we'd be having 169 of these articulated buses going by the school every day. They would be coming up 24th Street, which is directly in front of me here. And uh, uh, coming up 24th Street, and then turning around and going along the road here. And we'll wait till the car goes by. And of course, this is where all the parents tend to park in the afternoon to pick up the children. And I would like to know how it is, so they'll have to remove the median and the bulge that's there. And the great big tree in front of the school. Anyway, as we wait for a bus, I'll try and stitch together a picture of a bus as well. Okay, so let's imagine this being three o'clock and having an articulated bus go by with all of this going on. Look at the number of children at the crosswalk, all the cars that there are going down the road, and we want to go and have great big articulated buses squeezing their way right through here. We have a 255 bus now is going to be dropping people off and who knows could be going on a break and then how would they possibly squeeze another bus through here look at it it's mayhem every single day at three o'clock it's like this so yeah it's only 10 or 15 minutes every morning and every afternoon exactly the same as this so here we are and this if the bus were to happen to decide to go up 24th and turn around on Kings or Mathers. Let's look at the number of vehicles there are parked here now. Uh, this is at 10 2. The school doesn't get out until 3 o'clock. And both sides of the street loaded with vehicles, even going past Kings. And it was suggested, I believe, at the previous council meeting that the buses would be turning along Kings instead of Haywood. And as I pointed out in a video from Saturday, that there is a playground that is right here. The green building in the background there is Treehouse, which is a preschool. And wait till you see all the cars parked down here. So let's imagine articulated buses negotiating this corner. That might as well be the articulated bus. They're going to try and turn this corner. Look at all the cars illegally parked. This one's right by a fire hydrant. How is that 102 inch wide bus going to squeeze down here? 
with children running out to meet their parents between all these cars. A child is going to get injured. A child is going to get injured. All because Trans Lincoln Arc Council wanted to force a beeline that currently goes nowhere. 